Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel, I hope you are doing well. So, back to basics, that's what we're covering on this channel at the moment. Back to basics, install guides, setup guides, showing you how things work. So today we're going to be covering mouse toggle, how to install mouse toggle. We're going to show you a working version for the Fire Sticks guys. I get a lot of messages saying, I've installed mouse toggle and it doesn't work. I've installed mouse toggle on the new user interface for Fire Sticks and it doesn't work. I'm going to show you it working guys, and that's the best I can do. I can show you how to install it, how to make it work. I can't do any more than that, apart from... Come visit your houses and set it up for you, which I'm not going to do. So, this is the Doc Squiffy channel, guys. So, if you are new here, do remember to come and drop a subscribe. Set that bell, ring that bell, subscribe, set up notifications, a lot. There's also an optional join. If you want to become part of Team Squiffy, feel free to join. Also, underneath I will link my Facebook page. If you any need any support, I am live there every day. Every night I am live, so you can come and chat to me there. I do play Warzone, but I am live gaming and you can ask me any questions that's linked underneath as well guys if you do follow them make sure you ring that bell and you will know when we are live so back to the issue on hand today mouse toggle so i'm going to open up mouse toggle i'm going to show you how it works guys you know what it's one of the most simple apps you can get and it's really useful it's always good to have in the background because you never know when you might need it i don't use it often but every now and again i install an app when i need a mouse toggle so how to install it we'll show you afterwards let me open it up first I am currently demonstrating on the new user interface for the Fire Sticks. This setup works exactly the same on the Fire Stick 4K, Fire Stick Cube, everything like that. So, mouse toggle. This is our mouse toggle, guys. Click it. And this is it, guys. What you need is at the bottom, which is that way. Over that side, you'll see it saying status starting. That's fine, guys, okay? If it doesn't say that, click this top one off. And then click it again. Not that one. So that one, you have both of these turned on, but just turn them both on, and at the bottom you'll see it says starting. Okay, as long as it says starting, it doesn't need to go all the way to say started or anything like that. It must say starting. Okay. Right. Another setting you need is to go into your settings, and then My Fire TV, Developer Options. And you need ADB debugging on, guys, okay? It has to be on for mouse toggle to work. And I know we discussed about keeping this turned off after you're not, when you're not using it. If you're running mouse toggle, you need ADB debugging on. If your mouse toggle isn't working, ping it off. And then ping it back on again, guys, okay? That's how it works. Simple as that. Right, demonstrations. Remember, mouse toggle does not work on every app, guys, okay? It doesn't work on every app. It works on majority of apps, but it doesn't work on every app. So there might be some you open up and it does not work. Um, I'm going to demonstrate on Aptoid. Um, this is just an app store, guys. Also available on my website. We can have a look at it in a minute. And again, as you'll see, we've got no mouse toggle. What you have to do is double tap the play button. It doesn't come on automatically. You have to double tap it really fast. And there we go. We've got our mouse toggle on, guys. You see it here? So this allows us to move around the screen, select things you might not be able to normally, something out the blue, although this, this actual app doesn't need mouse toggle. But you can use it if you wanted to use it on your keyboard or anything like that. Okay. Really easy, really simple. When mouse toggle is on, you do lose functions of your other buttons. So to turn it off, double tap again and it will go away. Beautiful, guys. So it's that simple. Double tap on, double tap off, and it's that easy to use, guys. What I'm going to do now is show you how to install it. Real simple guide um, how to get it downloaded, installed, and make sure you have the right settings. So to install, we need obviously the downloader app if you're installing on your Fire Stick. To get this downloader app, you either go to your magnifying glass on the old school Fire Sticks or on this new one, go to find, then to search. In here we type downloader, DOW, and you'll find it ping up directly underneath. Brilliant. Here you need to download this downloader, guys, okay? Get it downloaded. Um, it's free from Amazon. Once it's downloaded, you need to ping across your settings which is a cog icon on any Fire Stick. My Fire TV again. Developer options. ADB debugging on. Install unknown apps. Also needs to be either turned on on the older versions or just go and select downloader and make sure it's turned on, folks, okay? Back to our home screen. Open up our downloader app. And then we're off to my website, guys, okay? So in here, we just need to type this in. Talk squiffy. Dot com.
forward slash downloads guys okay that link will be directly underneath this video and it will also be the pinned comment for you we will going to work on getting maybe a quick code for this soon but at the present that's all we're using docswhippy.com forward slash downloads link directly underneath and is the pinned comment we hit go you can visit this underneath this video on your mobile phone if you want to have a look about it first before you go on your fire stick obviously in this app um, download you don't need the added mouse toggle because it's got one built in so we scroll down you'll see a huge subscribe button ignore that subscribe button subscribe directly under the video subscribe back to Docs Whippy. keep scrolling down and under downloaders and tools you'll find mouse toggle for fire TV ping it then scroll down you'll see a big download button that's all you have to hit boom downloaded it's as simple as that guys that will download really fast for us you click install which is always I should put myself the other side shouldn't I always behind my head click install that will install for us now and then behind my head quickly quick click done and then we can click delete here you don't need to keep this file you can delete this file and delete right back to your home screen we now need to find mouse toggle so hold down the home button click on apps and you will find your mouse toggle in here folks okay again ping it open make sure you've got ADB debugging on like we said before as you see at the bottom my status at the minute isn't starting now it is so now it will be working guys okay simple as that everything in there is what you say but remember guys the key part of that is double clicking the play button to make it work a lot of people forget that and they just think it will start automatically double clicking that play button makes it work also guys before we leave remember if you can do come and follow me on my Facebook page ring that bell really important then you can come and make sure you can chat to me in the evenings um, I'm normally on with my wife but I can help with any questions regarding this content Plus, if you are after a VPN, we've got some cracking deals. IP Vanish is cheap as chips at the minute, and they've upgraded all their servers, so they're faster than ever. Three dollar thirty-three per month, crazy. And we have a link underneath for Iversy. Iversy is currently one dollar a month on a five-year plan, so that's sixty dollars for five years, completely done, job done, no worries. Both of them are linked directly underneath. They are affiliated links, but obviously, you don't want to use them. Just search Iversy. Just search IP Vanish. You may not get as a cheap price, but you can get it without, you know, my affiliate links if you don't want to use them. Your choice. There's one dollar a month, so we don't actually make millions out of these guys. So it's completely up to you. And remember, guys, if you're new back to Doc Swiffy, I'm sorry we've messed you around over the few weeks, few weeks, nearly a year. These videos are back. We're going to keep it basic. We're going to keep it simple, and we're going to bring you the stuff you like. Thumbs up, like, drop me a comment, and I'll see you all tomorrow.